locking. So I have a towel here. And again, we want to use facet joint locking to lock out motion in the spine. So we can use ligaments or the facet, but in this case, we're going to use facet. So I'm going to position me more in an anterior pelvic tilt. So the way I got a small towel here, so you can obviously probably use something a little bigger, but what that would do is try to put, you know, my lower segments of my lumbar spine in a more hyperextended position, which I may want in certain cases. Um, for instance, you know, if I'm hypo mobile at L1, L2, I might want to facet lock those other segments below it, and now I can mobilize the other ones, okay? The other way I can do it is I may not want certain motion at the spine in the front or transverse plane, so I can take a towel and position it above one side of the cheek, and you know, based off the bias rules of the spine, when I'm flexed, you know, I get rotation and side bending the same way. So I might want to position my pelvis in this position to have a better treatment outcome uh, with my exercise strategy. So you can mix and play those things. The key point is knowing, you know, the two different facet locking mechanisms and then try to facilitate what you're after.